Okay, so that is good as the fish is thermally chilly. Okay, let's go to the important remedies. So there are many. Okay, there are erythrinus. There are many rare remedies, but there are also many common remedies. Erythrinus is red mudded fish. Ichthyolum is fish fossil. Limulus or limulus is king crab. Medusa is jellyfish. Then comes the common ones: murex, purple fish, sepia, cuttlefish, Asteria rubens, red starfish, and eel serum or serum angular ichthyotoxin. Okay. There's one more remedy which I forgot to mention here. It's ambragrisia. Okay, ambragrisia also is a fish source, but you can mention it over here. Okay. So those are the important remedies. I will be dealing with four remedies in this. That is murex, sepia, asterodubens, and ambragrisia. Okay. So coming to the group characteristics. First, the constitution. So most of the fish show weakness either due to age or overwork as they mean feature, okay? Weakness, age or overwork. Weakness due to age or overwork. So they show either red or yellow complexions. This is on the humans, of course. They show either red or yellow complexions. You see this quite common in uh, sepia. Sepia are known to have this yellow complexion skin. One more thing, if they have a yellow complexion, you can actually understand that they have an affinity towards the liver. So liver affinity causing jaundice and jaundice causing the yellow discoloration or complexion, okay? Most of them show a history of all tendency to chronic hepatic troubles. This is what I mentioned. Okay, chronic hepatic troubles, tubercular or psychotic constitutions, okay? So just remember this tendency to chronic hepatic troubles, they show tubercular or psychotic constitutions okay so physically either they are thin that's not thing that's thin or flabby and are anemic okay thin flabby and anemic okay so coming to the sphere of action so mainly if you observe majority of the fish if not all of them are given for females okay this is a general thing about fish so mainly they act on the female reproductive system. You see this in murex, you see this in ambragrisia, sepia, even asteria rubens, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, uterus and breasts. Breasts goes towards asteria rubens. Mind, skin, kidneys, veins, nerves, especially the pneumogastric. Pneumogastric is your vagus nerve, solar plexus and spinal nerves, okay? On the veins, it causes varicose veins. So there is something called as stagnation, okay? Which is quite common in fish stagnation of the venous uh, system especially of the portal veins which and the rectal veins causing hemorrhoids okay then there'll be portal hypertension then there'll be varicose veins all these are found in fish remedies especially in sepia okay so coming to the mind in general Indifference. I don't have anything to say about this because you will find that sepia is the most commonly indicated one. Indifference is the main feature of the fish mind. They have no interest or feelings or no concerns or preferences with certain things. Okay. In sepia, you'll see that there is indifference towards the loved ones. Okay. Even sexual indifference towards the husband. Okay. So they show indifference to family. They show aversion to job or, one minute, yeah. They show aversion to job or business and their family, okay? Sorry. Yeah. So irritable and fretful. Fish also shows anger. They are easily angered and respond quick to stimulation, okay? There's another one, terror. They are filled with dread or terror as well as uneasiness or apprehension. So what I've mentioned in italics, I mean, not italics, in bold and I'm underlined, just keep that in mind, okay? They are filled with dread or terror as well as uneasiness or apprehension. Sadness. Fish usually show sadness, especially in expressed in weeping. So this you will see in sepia. There's a keynote in sepia which says that cannot narrate the symptoms without weeping. 
so that is found in sepia it's found in pulsatilla it's found in aurum many remedies are there but sepia is one of the main remedy where the the person cannot narrate the symptoms without weeping okay so they also are known to be miserly okay miserly means very greedy keeping everything for themselves okay they are the kind of people who grasp save or hold avariciously okay avariciousness is again uh, it's a repertorial rubric for miserly okay and often sacrificing their own comfort they are always greedy regarding gain okay so they are very much anxious or worried these people are troubled in their mind respecting some uncertain matter and very eager about them okay so you can compare this with one bachelor remedy called aspen aspen is also very much anxiety and fear they have unknown anxiety and they have unknown fears kind of like aconite or argentum they just fearful okay sluggishness they are very lazy they have an aversion to doing work they have an aversion to exertion and they are very lazy okay only thing is here if there is one contradictory symptom in sepia sepia has everything better by rapid rigid motion if you gone through a material medica you notice that almost all the symptoms even asthma is better by motion or dancing that is the usual that is the key word used in keynotes they are better by dancing okay hysteria okay hysteria is found more, uh, more often in chronic sepia as well but it's also found in ambergrisia and murex purpura okay this group also covers hysteria as its important mental characteristic there is an abnormal excitement wild emotionalism and frenzy okay just remember hysteria emotion and abnormal excitement so remedies of this group cover psychoneurotic conditions characterized by violent emotional paroxysms and disturbances okay. so that is about the mind just remember the hysteria okay the emotionalism then lazy except for a sepia where they are better by rapid movement or dancing then remember anxiety uh, are being worried okay miserly sadness weeping tendency okay terror okay dread of terror irritable and fretful and the first one which is indifference so you remember these seven points and majority of the mental symptoms of fish is covered okay so now coming to the physicals so everybody knows this even murex has even sepia has the main keynote symptom which these two remedies face in all the organs especially the female genital tract that is the uterus is a bearing down sensation okay if anybody has a doubt they can ask me directly they can put on the speaker for a minute and they can ask me I think somebody has raised their hand. So if you have any doubt, you can just ask me directly. Okay. So bearing down sensation is a general important feature of the fish group, leading to a tendency of tendency to abortions. So you will find this quite often in sepia. It's one of the main remedies for abortions. Okay. This group shows various congestions and stasis. So this we have dealt when we. went through the pathophysiology and are very much prominent especially of the venous nerve venous system okay so hot flushes and increased perspiration which makes fish group especially sepia very good for menopausal times or and pms times okay pre menstrual syndrome and menopausal times i will give a detailed explanation of uh, the hot flushes in the remedies to come okay so ball like sensation which is seen in all the fish remedies and other remedies i'll give you a comparison later of the inner part is also a main characteristic of the fish group okay
So they have an upward tendency. Remedies of this group show an upward tendency, upward affection, and pain travels from below upwards. Okay, you can think of uh, there's one more remedy where the rheumatism and the pain travels from below upwards, which is nothing but your ladam pal. Okay, if the pain travels from above downwards, you can think of Calmia latifolia. Okay, and this is only in rheumatism I'm talking about. Okay, but ladam pal is associated with chilliness. emaciation blueness of the affected part okay so there's excess nervous hypersensitiveness and mainly spinal irritation so nervous hypersensitiveness and spinal irritation okay you can think of if you go back to your previous classes you can think of oxalic acid and picric acid okay they usually have the spinal irritation and very sensitive spine and even uh, acetic acid as well so most of the complaints are aggravated by washing cold or worry so this is why step is called the washer woman's remedy right majority of the complaints of any fish remedy are seen in all these people who work in laundries or they work at the work in washing whatever they are or they work as housemaid when they use a lot of water for cleaning you find these complaints there okay the fish remedies are more suited for them okay so they better by warmth in general they better by exercise and they better by crossing the legs 